I will baptize this iguana and he shall rise from the dead. My child, rise. Let's hit him up. Woo! With Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Get him up. Guys, it's chilly today, but we're gonna do some fun stuff with our carp because all of our carp have returned. What the heck? <laughs> Did that really just happen? <laughs> yeah. Is it a bird job? It's just cold? Hello. Hold on. You know, I've seen this, but I've never like experienced it. <laughs> like actually seeing one just, hello. What the, guys, wait, hold on. Guys, an iguana just fell right out of the tree, just completely iced. That's, that's crazy. That, is, is it a bird or is it just the iguana? Ah, sorry, sorry. Hold on guys, come on, come on, I'm coming around. No, that's his nub. That's not chewed off. You good, bro. Guys, this thing is just, this thing is just cold. Look at this. Look at old Mr. Nubby. Old Mr. Nubby's just cold, huh? Look, his eyes are open. There's no blood. There's no holes. There's nothing wrong with this creature. Oh, he's freezing. He's just cold. He's just chilly. You need to get some Catch Em All Fishing merch, boy. <laughs> Warm yourself up. Guys, check this out. While we film our other video today, let's do this. Let's heat up the hot tub. I'm going to turn it on. I'll just blast it make it like, I don't know, 80 degrees, 90 degrees, something like that. Because it doesn't take very long. Probably take an hour or so. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy in the hot tub. Did that really just happen right now? Come on. I will bring life into you. <laughs> I will make you alive. You are dead. You are a sinner in Nagawana. No, seriously, guys. So what I'm going to do, so I'll throw them in the hot tub. Oh, that thing. That's a, that's an iguana sickle. Bring life. I will baptize you. No, seriously. I know, guys. Okay, you're looking at them right now, right? You see that this thing is a, a popsicle. Yeah. I can guarantee he will not drown and that he will come back to life. But we're going to have to wait. And hopefully he doesn't bust through the screen and run away. But he'll probably crawl out of this. We'll probably find him somewhere on the deck. But he'll probably end up going back into this hot water. Now, it's not very hot right now, but it doesn't take very long to get hot. Although it is very cold, the pipes are underground. It'll probably take maybe an hour. And while we're filming this video, we're gonna come back and I can guarantee you that this guy that looks completely iced out will come back to life. It's a little chilly, but in a little bit, with this warm water, this iguana will come back to life. We've done it before, and but we just haven't used a hot tub. So I can guarantee this thing will come back to life. But right now, he doesn't look like he's doing so good, does he? Hello! While our iguana is over there thawing out, our babies are hungry. But we are going to go back over there to the grass carp thing. But I think I'm actually going to make this its own separate video since we are blessed with manna from iguana heaven. I also wanted to show you guys this. Check these guys out. Now, it's pretty cold today and I usually don't feed them. But the water temperature, let's see the water temperature here. Hold on. Like yeah, like 70, 74, 76. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some food and feed our guys because it is getting a little chilly, but this will, this will probably pass. Not for the iguanas though. These guys can still eat. Come on. Hey, buddy. Look at this, look at this. Hello, my children. Look at these guys. Now, from that video, we've been training them all to eat, look at this all coming to the surface beautifully wonderful and we have a bunch of placos down here too that are all 
starting to get really big. Now that was our whole thing. We wanted to get a bunch of them so they would all get really big and then we'd always have a clean pond in all of our ponds. Now, this is super clean from the Placos. These Placos actually made this magic happen. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. But we're gonna take out all the mystery Placos that we have in here. Some are red, some are even blue, guys. Inside here, down here, on this driftwood right now and with our little fishies. Hello. Hello, my friends. Yes, this is, when these guys grow up, this is literally gonna be like so amazing. I'm loving it, guys. But let's go check out on our friend. Let's see if he's doing any better. It's only been like five minutes, so. But I went over there, turned on the heat of the pool. Nope. Still icicle, it looks like. You're still looking little, little cold. Little cheery. Oh. Little cheer. See if we can get some movement out of them. Any eyeballs? Hello? Hello? Now watch. I will baptize this iguana and he shall rise from the dead. My child, rise. All right, he will rise. We're just going to let him sit there for a while. We're actually going to put him right here so we can reach him. I'm telling you guys, he is not dead. He might look like it. he did have a very hard, long fall from whichever palm tree that was. I don't know, but... <laughs> but this thing will be good. We're gonna give him some time. We're gonna go sit and wait. Maybe an hour, 40 minutes. We're gonna check on him in like 40 minutes. So it'll be like 40, 45 minutes. Give that heater some time to heat this pool and uh, we're hopefully we don't lose him. We gotta keep an eye on him, Tim. <laughs> Let's make sure he doesn't run away. Oh. He might still be at the bottom. They can hold their breath for a long time, guys. It's been what, 45 minutes? Yeah, about Oh no, he's moving. He's got a little movement. Oh yeah! There we go. Back to life. Look at that. Look at this thing. And that's how it is, ladies and gentlemen. They respond to heat. Like I said, this is about. 80 some degrees that thing looks fully recharged actually he's actually a lot more lively than i thought i thought he would be like creeping and crawling i think he's been here for about 45 minutes around 80 to 80 89 degrees i didn't check the temperature but i think it's probably around 85 89 degrees come on hey i dropped it down hey buddy <laughs> he's a little deeper than I thought. He's still the same pigment. He's staying down there. Hold on. Let me roll up the merch. Cop your merch. Catch him off fishing.com. By the way, we're dropping some new stuff soon. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at all that energy he has now. Can you believe this is the same iguana that was literally a brick right out there, fell about 30 feet from that palm tree, and now he's doing the most. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ah, here we go. Look at that thing. Alive. Alive. Ha! A little bit chilly, but still alive. We saw him kicking. Hey, he's not fooling us. Let's give him a minute. Give him a minute. Check, check, give him a second. Watch. Take us a couple steps back. Take a couple steps back because at this point, I think he's playing with us. You good, you good, bro? Zoom into his face. Hey, look at this thing. It's the air temperature now is I want to say probably 50 some degrees. It's not as cold as it was earlier. You good? What's going on with you? You good? But you guys did see he was swimming around. They can hold their breath for a very, very long period of time, especially when their metabolism slows. You good? You good? He's still, still a little. A little frozen, but he was moving. But I think I could still, I don't want him to bite me. You know what? Because just when you just, <laughs> you let up on him, is that when he'll turn around? This will be a hell of a lot more entertaining video. Look at this, look at this guy. Look, 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 look. Ah, ha. This iguana went from completely stiff, literally locked up, destroyed, iced out. Look at his tail, that thing is so creepy. And now he's moving around. So I want to see you walk, bud. I want to see you walk. 
Let's see it. I know it's cold out here. I know the ground's a little chilly. Walk. Walk. <laughs> walk. I walk. Walk, boy. Walk. I give you the power to walk. Walk, child. Walk. <laughs> walk, my child. Be healed. You are now walking. Walk, my child. Be free. Show the viewers that you have been life with the sunshine. All right, so it's pretty cold. Be healed. I guess it's just, in the water, he's moving. Let's put him back in the water. So it's really cold outside, guys. It seems like he's already locking up because of how cold it is. Come here, let's check it out. Now let's put him back in the warm water and see how he reacts. Look, look at that. <laughs> no one would, if we didn't have this on film, you guys would not believe me. Now you could always make cuts and edits, but there's not so much you could do. Look, you gotta believe me, guys. This, you saw me take it out, no cuts. This, in this particular clip, I am not making cuts. That's how you do, I'm not making cuts right now. Look at this thing. We just saw that, that was solid. Was that not solid as a rock? I was touching, I was messing with it. And now, in the warm water, it can move. But outside, it is freezing cold. So interesting, these cold bud blooded creatures so crazy but now watch <laughs> on that cold surface done completely done but I throw him in the warm water and he's chilling they stay at the bottom it's crazy because while I'm night fishing for snook in the freshwater canals I see these guys all the time on the shallow water just sitting there frozen like iced out but underwater submerged sometimes they have their nose just above the water but a lot of times they're completely underwater and they're not sleeping they're just sitting there, not moving, because that's what cold-blooded creatures like this do. Alligators, all sorts of these guys. They can hold their breath for so long because their metabolism, everything inside them, slows down dramatically when it gets cold like this. And now, <laughs> this guy and I are sitting on this ice-cold ground. I'm telling you, it's, it's really cold down here for South Florida. But uh, this guy, that goes to show you, out here in the air temperature, he doesn't like it. He definitely doesn't like it here on land, but... Be free! Be healed! You can walk! You can walk! But he can swim. <laughs> that is so crazy. So, okay, look at him, look at him. He's going everywhere. He loves it down there. He loves it. So in the jacuzzi, he's good, guys. I'd be good in the jacuzzi, too. I usually like to go with some ladies, but, you know, iguanas are cool, too. This guy is going to chill out. He's going to be down there until he becomes breakfast, which he more than likely will. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Catch the merch, guys. We're coming out with some crazy stuff very, very soon on the website, catchemfishing.com. Link below, guys, and stay tuned. We have a lot coming out in the future. Thank you so much, by the way, for all of you guys who have been tuning in for years. Now we're on Swamp People History Channel, all sorts of stuff, Rise of the Snakes, and now we are still enjoying every bit of South Florida with creatures like this and viewers at home like you. Look at this guy, completely active. The longer he's in here, the more he moves around. It's in incredible. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next adventure, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.